Hey everyone, TTT here. Last time we saved a bunch of people from the Katakana Warriors and now it's time to take our rest. Mostly to proceed the storyline. Huh, actually didn't do anything. I thought there would, have, there would be a prompt or something. But I suppose we'll just have to go back to Daisuke. But first, there's a side quest here. Good morning. Oh, you don't speak Japanese? That's okay. I bet you're wondering what I said to you, right? <laughs> I could teach you a thing or two if you have the time. What do you say? Sure. A new adventure begins. New quest accepted. Hello, farewell. Cool, I'll teach you some Japanese greetings. You might want to write these down. I'll be giving you a quiz later. Let's start with the words I said to you when we met. That means good morning in Japanese. And it actually uses hiragana here. Which is the proper usage of this phrase, but still. Kind of weird to have this in the Katakana version of this game. And we already had that in the previous one too. So a lot of the vocabulary is likely going to be repeated. The Japanese characters written there are hiragana. It's okay if you don't know those. Just remember how it's written in English letters. Or oh, Romashi. This quick thing is reserved for the early morning and is no longer used after 11 a.m. Means good morning in Japanese. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa means good day or hello. This is a general greeting, used commonly around noon. Konnichiwa. Means good day or hello. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. That means good evening. Make sure to greet people with this when it's getting dark outside. Don't use it during daylight. Konbanwa. Means good evening. Igashaimase. That means the welcome. You'll frequently hear this when entering stores or restaurants in Japan. Igashaimase. That means the welcome. Sayonara. Sayonara. That means goodbye. This is a very formal way to say goodbye. Use it when you don't expect to see somebody for a very long time. Sayonara. Means goodbye. Ja, mata. Ja, mata. That means seeing you. See you later. This is a very casual way to say goodbye. Use it with friends and family when you're going to see them again soon. Yeah, Means see you later. Okay, that's all the greetings I have for you. I hope you are paying attention because I'm going to quiz you now. Get ready. It's evening. How would you greet me? Early morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. We're not going to see each other for a long time. What would you say to me? Sayonara. See me you again tomorrow. Ja, mata. Well, you passed my quest. Good job. Quest cleared. Walk on, superstar. Here's a small reward for you. Three Ramune. And two bonus points. Come see me again if you want to review these greetings. Actually, we can take a look at our affection meter. Okay, so far we have only a heart with Dicecape, probably because we were alone with him for a little while at the start of the game. Can we do anything with that? No. Clicking out just returns me to the... Or just closes the menu, I suppose. Time to study! Uh... What a way. Let's study. This hotel's cafe has a delectable assortment of cakes and pastries. I'm just gonna buy one, I promise. Maybe two. Or twelve. Twelve is good. Yippee! Mmm. Mouthful of cake. Ah, phew, let's go. Another side quest. Hajimemashite. Hajimemashite. 
Do you speak Japanese? Hmm? Not yet, you say? Well then, want me? Want me to teach you some handy phrases? Sure. Quest number two: Introductions. Good decision. I'll teach you how to introduce yourself in Japanese. Take notes. I'll be giving you a quiz. Let's start with the phrase I said to you when we met. Hajimemashite. Hajimemashite. That means nice to meet you in Japanese. The Japanese character is written there hiragana. It's okay if you don't know those. Just remember how it's written in English letters for Maji. This phrase is used only when meeting someone for the first time. It essentially translates into we're meeting for the first time. Hajimemashite. Means nice to meet you in Japanese. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku That means nice to meet you or let's work together. This voice is tough to translate. It is used in many situations when meeting people and can also mean be kind to me, I'm calling on you, etc. Or something like I'm in your care and a lot, a lot of different meanings. It is tough to translate all things considered. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Means nice to meet you or let's work together. Watashiwa. Watashiwa means I am. You then say your name and address. Use this phrase when introducing yourself. Say Watashiwa followed by your name and then this. Example Watashiwa Sam this. Watashiwa. Watashiwa means I am. You then say your name and this. Okay, that's all the introductions I have for you. I hope you are paying attention, because I'm going to quiz you now, get ready. Let's work well together. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. I am Watashiwa. We're meeting for the first time, how should you greet me? Hajime mashite. Well, you passed my quiz, good job. Quest cleared, walk on, Buster. Here's a small reward for you. Wakizashi. And two bonus points. Come see me again if you want to review these greetings. That should be a new weapon for me. A short Japanese sword carried by Samurai Warriors for your main character. Let's talk to Daisuke. Hello! Hello, we should get to together today and just hang out. What do you think? Uh, this should be the affection event, probably. Nice, let's hang out. Whoa. Hey there, how's the day treating you? You are suddenly very big. Or well, very close, I suppose. <laughs> do you have some time to kill? Oh, you came to see me? Nice. Let me just put a bookmark in. You caught me catching up on my reading. <laughs> You've probably figured it out already because of all the time we've been spending together, but I'm a bit of a geek. Yeah, who isn't these days? Before all this business with katakana monsters happened, I was perfectly happy spending my free time reading books and watching sci-fi movies. I hope you don't think I'm too weird. Eh... Uh. I personally don't like sci-fi too much, I'm more of a pure fantasy diet guy, but it's not weird or anything. Yeah, I just said I don't particularly like sci-fi. You okay, dude? Huh, glad to hear you say so. The last would probably get me more affection points, but I'm gonna be honest. Faction increased by 10. My all time favorite series is Galactic Heroes of the 42nd Millennium. It doesn't ring a bell. When Commander Jeffrey and the entire heavy fleet stand off against the alien invaders, my skin gets goosebumps and I feel shivers down my spine. I am generally not even sure if that's made up or an actual thing. Every single time I watch it, we should get some DVDs and popcorn and have a marathon. Uh, if you want to. <laughs> sure, why not? I should warn you though, I'll be commentating the whole time. Oh dear god. <laughs> I've watched all the behind the scene features, 
and have memorized each character's lines. Hope that's okay. Oh, and we can watch your favorite series too, even if it's not sci-fi. I'd still enjoy getting to know what you like. Oh boy, you're in for a wild ride. Well, until then. Daisuke had a great day with you. He has received a boost to his stats. Hello! I'm just gonna remove you from the party to give Bowen a chance. I see. Just gonna find him. Aw, study time! This building here looks pretty shady. I wonder if the place was like this even before the Katakana monsters came to town. Well, I'll do my best! Man, let's do this thing! Uh, let's do the lessons as Hello. well. Study time. Continue with new lessons. Ready for a new lesson? Nice. First, we should all get together and discuss what happened last time at the street mall. That mysterious woman and that giant katakana monster. To the classroom. Away. Chapter three: Searching for truth. Gather round. Okay, everybody, settle down. We all know what happened last time we went out exploring. That giant katakana monster was unlike anything we've ever seen. Weird. That thing nearly kicked our butts, and just when I thought it was beat, it transformed into another shape. I can't think clearly about katakana under that kind of pressure. Man, I can hardly remember my A's to Z's even on a good day. Jeez, Owen, give yourself some credit. You're not that silly. You remember to tie your shoes in the morning, right? You know. Yeah, of course I do. Oh, darn. My shoes untied. Uh, well, regardless, we got through that encounter alive. We should be thankful our studies are paying off. Yes! Spot on. But we need to keep studying in case we come across another gargantuan beast like that. Hey, what's the deal with that red-haired girl who approached us? She came out of the shadows like she'd been watching our little adventure. I'm not sure. That I cannot explain. Though I, s uh, I thought perhaps she was a foe, but if anything, she gave us a heads up on the danger approaching. I'm determined to find her again. I have more than a few questions for her. Um... I have a funny feeling that she'll come find us if we keep going at our current pace. She seems like she has an interest in what's going on. I agree with Tia. We need to keep studying and clearing the city of Katakana monsters. When the time comes, we'll run into that girl again. Righto. It's settled then. We need to hit the books. Can I take a snooze first? No, oh, come on. Can't we take a day off? No way. No chance, kiddo. You need to put in more studies than all of us. Eesh. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Well, I'll do my best. She thinks I'm an idiot. Well, I'm real smart and I'll prove it to all of you. Yes. I believe in you, Owen. I believe in all of my students. Okay, full steam ahead. This lesson we're going to learn a new set of Katakana characters. But before that, I've got a tweet for you. I'm going to teach you some Japanese vocabulary. Are you excited to learn some Japanese vocabulary? The theme of this lesson is places. Instead of just learning katakana every lesson, we'll occasionally look at new vocabulary. We'll cover 10 new words each lesson. I will demonstrate how to read and pronounce each word. Here's our first word so you can get a feel for how these lessons work. Apato. There's a lot of info here, let's break it down. The first line in blue is how to write the word in katakana. The katakana syllables we've already learned are colored in, syllables we haven't learned yet are faded out. You don't need to worry about those yet. The red text below is the English translation. So this fancy katakana word translates to apartment, nice. Finally, the black text is Romaji. Romaji is a system designed to transcribe Japanese sounds using the English alphabet. Basically, it lets you read the word with zero Japanese knowledge. And 
as I have mentioned in the Hiragana game, it is not the English alphabet, it's the Roman alphabet. It's just used by a lot of languages. Romaji is very common, and there's a good chance you've come across it before. Words that are borrowed from Japanese use Romaji think of words like Tsunami, Karaoke, Sensei, etc. Romaji is super simple and easy to read. As you learn more katakana and gain an understanding of the syllables used in Japanese, you'll be able to write words in Romaji as well as katakana. For the vocabulary we are learning, you can use the Romaji reading until we learn all of the relevant katakana. And next, I'll discuss how to pronounce it properly. Apato. Did you hear it well? The word is pronounced a pa to Apato. You already know the first katakana in the word a, so you have a good start on the pronunciation. A general rule of thumb when speaking Japanese is that the sounds of syllables do not change, regardless of what syllable they follow or precede. We all know that English words can change pronunciation in strange ways, and may not even be pronounced as they are written. However, in Japanese every syllable has a specific pronunciation, and it's the same in every word it appears in. There are a couple of little exceptions, but nothing to be concerned with at this stage. Nope, let's continue. I honestly didn't think it would take this long. Now you probably noticed that the word apato sounds very close to the English word apartment. In fact, you might even figure out that the meaning of the word without uh, you might even figure out the meaning of the word without knowing Japanese. Many of the words we will learn to write in katakana are words borrowed from other languages. A lot of them are from English, most of them, in fact. But some words are borrowed from other languages too. Words borrowed from other languages are written in katakana. Words that are Japanese in origin are written in hiragana or kanji or both. In these vocabulary lessons, we will look at a mix of katakana words and uh, katakana words and hiragana words. We'll see hiragana words last. Don't worry if you don't understand hiragana. Every thing will be translated for you. Okay, now you know how these vocabulary lessons work. Let's look at our second word. Depato. Departo is Japanese for department store. Departo. Department stores are popular in Japan and they're huge. Konbini. Konbini is Japanese for convenience store. Konbini. Convenience stores are very, very common in Japan, especially in big cities like Tokyo, Osaka and Kyoto. You can expect to see konbini on every street corner. Hoteru. Hotelu is Japanese for hotel. Hotelu. Many hotelu in Japanese uh, in Japan are built in a Western style, modeled after American and European hotels. If you're looking for a traditional Japanese accommodation, you want to search for yokan. Restaurant. Restaurant is Japanese for restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant covers a wide variety of Japanese eateries, from fast food to high class venues. Okay, that's five words done. That covers all uh, katakana words this lesson. Let's take a look at five words written in hiragana. Mise. For these hiragana words, you'll see the hiragana characters are written in green. You'll be able to read these if you've played the previous game in this series or have studied Japanese before. If you don't know hiragana, never fear, just read the words using romaji written in black. Mise, Mise is Japanese for shop. Mise applies to most shops, small or large. Koen. Koen is Japanese for park. Koen. This word refers to beautiful parks filled with trees and wildlife, not to be confused with the space to park your car. Ginko. Ginko is Japanese for bank. Ginko. Visit the ginko to deposit or withdraw money. Bioin is Japanese for hospital. Bioin. This is an important word to know in case you ever find yourself needing medical treatment in Japan. Yubinkyoku is Japanese for post office. Yubinkyoku. This word is a mouthful. It's handy to memorize in case you want to send a postcard whilst traveling in Japan. 
Ooh, that covers all our hiragana words this lesson. Because of your hard work, you've learned 10 new Japanese words. Give yourself a round of applause. Before we continue, on to our next katakana lesson, would you like to save the game? Alright, let's do that and let's end it here because we are at about the 20 minute mark. So let's do the katakana at the start of the next episode. Until then, bye bye.